What's up, folks? This is Nurse Ninja right here coming at you with a breakdown of compartment syndrome. Uh, what is compartment syndrome? It's basically a complication of fractures such as muscles and nerves of the upper and lower extremities that are being enclosing that are already enclosing compartments, but are surrounded by tough inelastic fascia, um, which is basically, you know, like a membrane kind of that encapsulates portions of your muscles. Um, when the swelling happens, it causes an increased pressure in the closed spaces, which are the fascia that are surrounding your muscles. So you could think of it as like mm, your muscles are, you know, broken up into uh, long muscles or whatever. But like if you look at it from top to bottom, it's uh, they're surrounded kind of like a straw. And inside the straw is your muscles, but the straw is the fascia that are breaking up your muscles into compartments. So when the um, muscles inside the straw get bigger and swollen because of an accident you increase the pressure and that is why you know this whole compartment syndrome happens it starts cutting off the blood flow to your muscles and nerves and then causes paralysis and necrosis or dying the death of your tissues this is actually a very true surgical emergency that requires prompt diagnosis and immediate intervention what do you look for? What are the signs and symptoms? You have severe pain that is not getting better with uh, pain medications and signs of neurovascular impairment. So basically they can't really feel the, like the toes or the fingers um, of, of the extremity that's being affected by compartment syndrome. Usually this is uh, forearm fractures. What do you do as a nurse? You basically assess the radial pulses of the affected arm or forearm or you know the toes and uh, their ability to extend the fingers or toes and move them. If there is pain that happens when they're trying to move their fingers or toes of the affected extremity, you call the doctor right away. Check again for pallor, pulseness, pulselessness, and paresthesia. Measure the pressure of the affected compartment, um, and if the measurement is greater than 30 millimeters of, of mercury, this is a positive diagnosis for, for compartment syndrome. And I have included a picture of the um, of how they do that. It's really gross. It's like a pressure catheter they put inside your affected extremity, and they measure it. And basically, once you know that it's compartment syndrome, what do what do you do? You want to elevate the extremity to to the level of the heart, if possible. You want to loosen any dressings that are around it, like a cast or like a splint. If it's too tight, then it's cutting off circulation, and that's what's causing compartment syndrome. Call the doctor immediately and administer pain meds as requested. Then basically you take them to the hospital. The doctor basically slices open that area that is being, you know, affected by compartment syndrome. He will then cut into the tissue to loosen up the fascia and relieve the pressure. Then basically they take it from there and the person basically walks around with open muscles you know, open for you to see just like that. So, uh, you know, of course, it's monitored by medic medical professionals and all that good stuff. But that's it for me, Nurse Ninja. Check me out. Subscribe to my channel, youtube.com forward slash the Nurse Ninja. I'm out. Nurse Ninja. Ninja vanish.